What's going on everyone? This is the rules here. As you can see, this is a two-pack t-shirt. It's kind of old one. Somebody gave it to me. Raspberry pomegranate kombucha tea. Because I don't want to drink alcohol anymore. It's good. Talk to Germani. He gave me a lot of good music to listen to. So enough interruption let's get to the point of the video so you click on the title so you know what the fuck i'm gonna talk about so michael tato emil my grandfather was a hungarian jew i heard that there are like 12 kinds of jews what kind of jew are from hungary i know they moved to america around 1936 to keep from being killed by the nazis could you please give me some input Well, it's funny because you know that Tad's parents are also Hungarian Jews. Tad's ancestry, like from his dad's side, the Jews came from Hungary. But that has nothing to do with 12 types of Jews. And by the way, I don't know what is 12 types of Jews, but I know everything about the 12 tribes of Israel. And that stuff happened a little bit over 3,000 years ago. I don't know, maybe you don't have any Jewish education, but I can educate you on that. Because you probably know all the stories from the Old Testament, right? About Esau, uh, Jacob, and then, you know, Jacob had 12 kids, right? Or 11, I think, because the problem was that Joseph, the son who was sold uh, to the slavery to Egypt, right? He didn't get his tribe. There is no tribe of Joseph. It was separated by two tribes of his children, Ephraim and Menashe. So. And then later on, what happened is that these 12 people, they were ancestors, according to the Jewish myths, of the modern day Jews, okay? Well, of the Jews later on, because modern day Jews came only from the two tribes, I will get to it a little later. So basically, and then we know after that story, Jewish people went to Egypt to slavery, came back from slavery, right? They would, in the desert, while Moses was, you know, you know that story was traveling there for like 40 years then in reality it should have only taken them maybe like a couple weeks to do it but the reason why they were in the desert for 40 years is because the old generation of slaves who were still slaves in Egypt should have died out so the new generation who were born in the desert who didn't know about the slavery would invade the new land because they didn't want people with a slave mentality to be free in a new Jewish state. That was the idea behind it, okay? And then, um, you know that uh, his name was Jesus Navin or whatever, Yehoshua Ben Navin in Jewish theology, the guy. Um, he basically carved in the land on Canaan, the area form Israel, right? So what happened next? First they have the period of Shoftim or judges. Then they got kings. Solomon, David, oh no, Saul, David, and then Solomon. Because King Solomon was very smart, but he was a sinner because he fucked a lot of bitches. And because he was an idol worshiper, because he was dependent on women, unfortunately. So basically after the death of King Solomon, okay, the, um, the kingdom was split up into two kingdoms, Israel and Judea. And two tribes, tribes of Levi and Judah, this is the kingdom of Judea, right? And then another ten tribes were the kingdom of Israel. So, kingdom of Israel collapsed in 721 before Christ. Assyrians conquered it. And... Uh, 
the people of ten tribes of Israel were lost. You know when they say about lost ten tribes of Israel. And only two tribes, the tribes of Levi and Judah, survived. So, the modern day Jews, these are the descendants of people from the tribe of Levi or Judah. People from tribe of Levi, these are the, um, you know, the God worshippers from the um, from the temple. You know, this from time to the temple, Levites were worshiping in the um, in the temple, and then people from Judah. I don't know. They just guess regular Jews. Like King David was from the tribe of Judah, and according to the prophecy, the Mashiach or Messiah supposed to be somebody, the direct descendant of King David, the direct descendants of Jesus Christ. If if Jesus Christ had descendants, if not, Jesus Christ is a true Mashiach. So, it's just my opinion, of course. And, um... Yeah. This is who's supposed to be the real Mashiach. Somebody, direct descendants of King David. From the tribe of Judah. So, and Levites, they just worship in the temple. There's only two tribes... And the descendants of two, these two tribes are modern day Jews. The rest of the ten tribes, they just lost. Okay? Nobody knows who are exactly the descendants of these ten tribes of Israel. So, that's a story about the twelve kinds of Jews of ten tribes of Israel. So, that's my input. All the best to you guys.